Hey everyone, welcome to episode 8 of my mobile photography masterclass. This is Stuff You Should Know. First, if you apply all the lessons that I taught you from episode 1 through episode 7, then I guarantee that you can make an iPhone 5 look better than an iPhone 13 Pro Max. I've had friends with iPhone 12s and even iPhone 13s tell me that they hate the camera on their phone, and I look at their photos and I go, well, it's no wonder you hate it, you don't know how to use the camera. And then vice versa, up until this year where I got the new 13 Pro Max, I've always been at least two generations behind with iPhones. I just got the 13 Pro Max, but before this, I had the iPhone XR, before that, I had the iPhone 7 Plus, so I'm always trailing behind by two years, but no one notices that because my photos are better than most people's photos using the iPhone 13 or whatever the newest iPhone is at the time. Now that's not to brag, the same thing goes with actual camera bodies. The tech does matter at a certain point if you've really hit the wall with what you're using, but for the most part, if you know what you're doing with the gear you have, you can make any camera look really, really good. And then on the note of making your photos look good, yes, you can sell your photos to clients and make money using mobile phone photography. My girlfriend and I recently shot for Majuri, which is a jewelry brand, and those photos were all taken with the iPhone. Since all the photos were living just on social media on Instagram, they didn't need to be super high resolution for a billboard, so we were able to deliver mobile phone photography and make money with a client using just our phone. And the last but not least, as a final send off for this entire course, I want you to go out there and experiment, learn new things while you shoot, teach others how to shoot better photos, and of course, have fun while doing it. Thank you guys so much for watching my eight part mobile photography masterclass. If you liked this masterclass or any episode in this masterclass or learned anything at all, be sure to subscribe to my channel because I wanna make more videos diving into specific styles of photography with the iPhone and with my mirrorless camera and how to achieve those styles. So if you wanna see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe, hit that like button down below and comment what one thing that you learned or one thing that you want to see me talk about more of in future videos to come. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys soon.